Our region's business is sponsored by PNC, for the achiever in you. A young woman from our region found a way to turn a solar purse into a trip around the world with Solar Impulse, an airplane that managed to circumnavigate the globe without using a single drop of fossil fuel. The voyage captured international attention last year, and what you might not have noticed in all the footage was the ground crew, including its youngest member, the only female engineer from the United States. Well, since then, she's gone on to be named a member of the Forbes 30 Under 30 Class of 2017. And now Paige Castellan has touched back down in our region. She's a market analyst with Covestro in Robinson Township. And welcome, good to have you. Yes, glad to be here. Yeah, this is real, all pretty exciting stuff from a young girl from the South Hills, right? Yes, oh um, my gosh. The past year and a half have been nothing that I could have ever believed would happen. So, pretty exciting. Yeah, well, let's talk about both. First off, maybe a little, about, uh, a little bit about the Solar Impulse. And that was a project that Covestro was working on with lots of other country, uh, co companies and partners from all around the world, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, so we had, there were over 100 partners that contributed to making Solar Impulse a success. And so Covestro actually developed the home of the pilots, the cockpit. So the lightweight insulation that was used to keep the pilots warm at 28,000 feet. Okay, so then how did you wind up on the ground crew? Because it sounds like it was all going on in the cockpit, right? Yeah, so because we donated the technology, the insulation for the cockpit, we were asked to also supply an electrical engineer to support the team. Okay. So there I am just six months after joining Covestro, and I see a posting for the need of an electrical engineer to travel around the world with this airplane. So I immediately said, please choose me, and yeah, it all worked out. Kind of had to be competitive though. Covestro is a big global company. There has to be a lot of engineers that would have been interested in an opportunity like that. That's really exciting to get the nod. Well, and as you had mentioned, it was very fortunate because a couple months earlier, I was at a conference where I saw someone with a solar powered purse, a solar powered purse that charged their phone. Oh, okay. And I wondered what the solar yeah. powered purse would do and why it needs the solar yes. power, but the purse then charges the phone. I yes. Got it. Yeah. So I had to write a 300 word essay that would be reviewed by the North American leadership team for Covestro. And I talked about that process and really wanting to create something rather than see where I could buy it. And just with Solar Impulse, where we're really writing the manual for anything like this. That was, that's really what I think gets my blood pumping and gets me excited. What a crazy opportunity though, to get to go all the way around the world with that, that kind of a project. Yes, and I think it was an incredible learning experience and especially being out of the Covestro office and learning how our materials really can contribute to something so historic like Solar Impulse was just mind blowing for me. Yeah, highlight of the whole, the whole circumnavigation for you? Oh, that's a good question. I think um, the moment whenever I got comfortable standing on the runway, knowing that I had to catch the wing of a solar powered airplane when it's landing, because that was one of my tasks. Okay, that is a learned behavior, right? Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Do it. Acquired it's skill. <laughs> something that you can't read a textbook for, so <laughs> it was a little intimidating. But that moment when I felt comfortable, and I think it was really when I was in Egypt, I remember okay. standing on the side of the runway and thinking, this is normal, and I never thought I would say that before. You had finally come of age. I, I love it. Well, tell me about uh, the, the Forbes 30 Under 30. That also is a competitive process, right? Yes, and it is something that I could not be more thankful for the honor, and especially to be able to continue telling the story of Solar Impulse. Um, yeah, just being a part of this list, and I remember when the list came out in 2012, reading it and thinking, all of these people under 30 doing so many influential things. So. I'm just so thankful to be a part of that collection of people. That's right. That's really cool. Did you always want to be an electrical engineer when you were growing up in what, Mount Lebanon? Is it? Yeah. Well, so, and my mom will probably kill me for telling this story, but <laughs> I really felt like I loved to be an engineer whenever I would help assemble furniture for her office and would throw away the directions every time. And she probably thought I was crazy, but I really loved that problem solving aspect where you were trying to figure out how parts clicked and that's really what engineering is, it's problem solving. And electrical especially where if you plug all these components in and you see the light light up, that is the most empowering feeling in the world. That, that is so cool, I can only imagine. So what are you doing now? The round the world trip is over with, you got the Forbes 30 under 30. So what does a market analyst, uh, analyst with Covestro work on? So. 
Yeah, if Solar Impulse wasn't the world's coolest job, this position as a market analyst with the future of mobility is definitely the coolest job. So the future of mobility is really broad, but what I'm focusing on is ride sharing and then also autonomous vehicles. And oh my gosh, Pittsburgh's the hotbed yeah, of that, right? With city. Uber and the robotic cars and all that stuff. Yeah, right? so what a better city to be doing that. But yeah. we know that Covestra Material will have a play in this somehow. And just like Solar Impulse, where it was a collaboration of so many partners, we're looking for companies to collaborate with to figure out what we can do to develop a solution that people might think needs a mechanical or an electrical solution, but it could be a material solution. So that's kind of my investigative, yeah, investigative role with the company now. I like it. Well, that is really exciting. Well, uh, congratulations, really fun, and continued success in the years to come. It's going to yeah. be hard to top what you've already done, though. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, that's the challenge. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, uh, Paige Castlin, thanks so much. Really yep. appreciate it. Thank you very much. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.